creative friends. This is Swink Designs. Um, I am making a painting with this canvas. Four weeks ago, I broke my toe. Um, nothing special. I literally just ran into a door frame and it's the second to the smallest one and I broke or fractured the bone that's actually still in your foot. So, and then this part went, yeah. No pictures because it's, it was gruesome. It was the worst. So I have been watching TV, anime, Netflix, Hulu. I've caught up on all my favorite shows. And so this weekend I wanted to do more something, you know, creative and painting. Inspired by my fracture, I remembered something that I did in high school, and I cannot tell you who the artist was, or I cannot find an example of it on Google. It's I, I can't I can't. I don't remember who it was. But there was something I did in high school where we painted a skeleton structure of a creature, let's say it's an animal, of a cat, a dog, it could have been a reptile. My example that I did in high school was actually a snake. You paint the skeleton figure um, black and white, and then everything else in the painting. So like say we would sometimes paint maybe like one vital organ, I think that was like a requirement, or like you included their stomach or their heart, and that was painted in this bright fluorescent neon colors. So I decided that I would to apply that art technique onto this canvas that I had, had sitting in a corner for a while. This is, this is something that I did for fun. It's uh, one of those straight up all black gessoed canvas. And I took um, neon paints from Walmart. They sold like neon purple, neon blue, neon green. And then occasionally there, there was also these glow in the dark ones that were fluorescent glow but then I found out by reading the back that it kind of glows only in black light, not just glow in the dark. So I have, so I was playing around, doing something abstract. Um, it was fun to do. Literally, I was just taking paint and putting it on my canvas and then doing this, and then making uh, swirls. Um, it's fun, but it's not enough of a composition where I would consider this particular canvas um, finished. So I have an idea and it's gonna be a unicorn. So let's begin. All right, so to get started, we have obviously our canvas. Um, the pros and cons of using a black canvas for anything like versus a white gesso canvas because you buy them like this. is that uh, you have, if you're gonna use like these neon colors from Walmart, there's got to be either a lot or you got to put like some white underneath it. Otherwise it kind of like fades away as you can see through some of these firing patterns. But we're going to just do the skeleton part first. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my references. So I've gone online. I grabbed some horse graphics of what their skeleton structure looks like. And we're going to start with uh, the greatest colors of all the colors of painting. Black and then white.
we are so far. I'm not really sure what this was intended to be. I was gonna make it all come up, but then it's it just doesn't work. So I will probably have to find a way to black that all out because artists make mistakes.
All right, now we are finished. Let's zoom out so you can see the rest of it. So here is the finished piece. Um, so that weird figure thing just ended up being a, a wing. So thank you for watching. Um, this video is different because I had to keep sitting for my broken toe and I didn't get a lot of the good zoom ups. If you like any of my paintings, I do sell them on a website called society6.com. Um, you don't get the actual acrylic painting, but you can buy prints of it and we also take these prints and they can be produced onto pillows, coffee mugs. Um, I have an example right here. So coffee mugs. You can buy all kinds of different things with my art on it if you like anything. So thank you again for watching.